Welcome back to Creating Cash Flow. This is a show where we challenge what you've learned your whole life about traditional investing, and we show you how to take control of your financial future. We are back. My name is Kurt Carlton. I'm here with my co-host, Andrew Welker, and we are with Robert Kiyosaki. Robert, we were just talking about debt. Now, most people uh, are afraid to get into investing in real estate, mainly, I, I think, because they're afraid of debt, but you, you feel the opposite. You love debt, right? Right, and you should be afraid of debt if you have no financial education, no experience, which you guys are providing people, you know, the contacts of people. Real estate is pr pretty much management intensive, a finance intensive investment. So you've got to be smart, you've got to have experience, you have to have good people around you. But one of the advantages of real estate is debt and taxes. You see, the banks right now are giving away a real estate of what, 4%, 3%? Yes. Mm -hmm. well, you got to be kidding five. me. You know, when I was your age, they were like 18 percent. You know, try making a deal work at 18 percent. That's tough. So these idiots out there can't make a deal work at 6 percent, 5 percent. You got to be crazy. And you know what? Those interest rates are going to go up because they have to go up. So these people are waiting for something to turn. Well, it already turned. It's real estate. So the beautiful thing about real estate, you use OPM, other people's money, your banker's money. Your bankers want to lend you money for real estate. They don't want to lend you money for your business, but they'll lend you money for real estate. There's a reason for that. So you should find out. That's why they should come and talk to you guys why bankers like debt. On top of the debt, debt is tax-free money. I am doing my best to borrow as much money as possible. Last year, I borrowed $2 million tax-free. How I got that money is exactly why Susie Orman says don't do whatever Dave, Dave Ramsey says don't do. <laughs> I do because I'm a little, I trained different than them. Did smarter. you just quote Susie Orman? <laughs> well, yeah. he said, they're, they're I love different. it, I love it. They're <laughs> different, they're different people. You know, I, don't, I love real estate. But I love real estate because bankers will give me millions of dollars. They don't give me millions of dollars for anything else. They won't lend me that much for my business. They will give millions for my real estate. On top of that, the tax department gives me tax breaks. It's called, you know, depreciation. So, I don't get it, you know? I mean, why are people so afraid? But what they're afraid of is incompetence. They lack the education, they don't have good guidance, they don't have good mentors. Because real estate is primarily a finance and management proposition. You've got to be an entrepreneur. So, the more debt I have, the higher my return on investment. And since it's other people's money, let's say I'm making $100, but I borrowed ten dollars from the bank. What's my ROI? Well, it's infinite because it's not my money. Yes. See, a pure capitalist use ter is a capitalist is trained to know to use other people's time and talents. They're called employees, and other people's money is called my banker's money. So the reason I don't work and the reason I make so much money and I get tax breaks is because I use other people's time and talents and other people's money. That's what capitalists do. If you're a socialist or a communist, you pay high taxes and they shouldn't give you any loans anyway. So anyway, that's kind of my <laughs> philosophy on life. And if you're paying too much in taxes, it's because you might be a communist or a socialist. You better start changing economic philosophy. I'm only kidding you guys here. I'm doing my best to get you off ground zero and let you know that this is the best time to get rich. I've never seen interest rates so low. You know, and everybody's saying, get out of debt. you got to be nuts. There's good debt and bad debt. Bad debt makes you poor. Good debt makes you rich. But it takes financial education, something not done in our schools, is why we have presidents and senators and congressmen, and why we have a financial crisis, is because we have highly educated idiots running this country. Welcome back to Creating Cash Flow. I'm Kirk Carlton, your host, and we're here with Andrew Welker. Richard Kiyosaki. No, no, no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Did you go to college? It's stuck in my head now. It's, I'm like, it's like stuck in my head now. It's like a force in the front. I'm gonna, if I see you two years from now, I'm probably going to call you Richard.